Obviously, the celebrities were at war. Be very careful. Don't cross me. Don't tell me what to do. Stand up. Why? Because I ask you to. Talk to me like that, you prick. Piece of shit. You stinking French slut. I'm going to ruin your life if you hurt me. It'd be good if you could be nice. I don't like you. I'm hating it by everyone. Gary just pushes my buttons. Tonight, ah! housemates face their fears. Ah! No. Ah! Oh, oh, no, I don't like it. I don't like it. And home truths rock the house. I think Kylie is being fed. Frenching is the most selfish housemate. My least favourite housemate is Gary. It's a great a pain in the butt. That's a lie. Biggest ego in the house. Leslie, I think he suffers with a small man ego. She's just like a gnat, you know? She just annoys me. It I can ain't... say what I like well, Gary, do you know what I'm saying? You're being rude. No, I'm not wrong, Gary. You're being very rude. No, I'm not wrong, Gary. Go He's doing me life. fucking nut chopping. Welcome to life. Day 8, 9.31 a.m. As part of the celebrity scrap heap task, Leslie chose Gary, Kelly, Frenchie, David and Claire to face eviction. Last night, Frenchie won her task and chose James to take her place. And these five celebrities face the first eviction tomorrow. Hey, hey there. Hi, good morning. Congratulations on yesterday. Thank you. Really proud of you. Thank you very much. That's just great. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. All right, I'm on, wired, locked up. Okay, I'm gonna put that on. I need to find some socks. <laughs> oh. Morning. 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 How are we? Very good. Okay, good. Ah, oh, bloody packing we've got to do. Oh yeah, jeez, we're all right. Oh. Mm -hmm. Be nice to stay, but if you go, it's well, fine. Me for one, I'm not a fan of eating beans and rice. I don't know about you, but. I know. Well, that's the other thing, but that's <laughs> the shittiest thing about it, isn't it? Yeah. Good morning, big brother. Good morning, James. How was last night? Um, last night was, uh, yeah, quite a twist. So the games have begun now. Um, unfortunately, that silly, silly, silly little French girl won the task. So as soon as she won the task, I knew that I was going to be up for nomination. And I'm gutted um, because I don't want to go home yet. Um, I'm having a good time. If I go home, I'll take it on the chin. Um, but yeah, I mean, you definitely don't want to be the first one to leave. Do you think that Frenchie had a hard choice? You know, she said, oh, it's really difficult, but, uh, you know, me, me and you, we're the only people that had argument. Um, yeah, because I'm the only person that would tell you to shut the fuck up when you're running up and down the bedroom at four o'clock in the morning, screaming your head off, saying, I don't care, I don't care, I don't care. I can't stand her. I despise her as a human being. I said when I came in here, if there's someone I don't like, they're gonna know I don't like them. And with Frenchie, from day one, I've, I haven't got time for people like that, so I didn't talk to her. It was just unfortunate for me that she was the one person that got to pick uh, someone to take her place. It was gonna be me. Eleven or two a.m. James is offering Gary some advice. If you do have a shower, oh, I am. Wait until one of us is with you. No, that's okay. I... No, wait until one of us is with you. Because why it's... are you? Why are you so affirmative on this? Please tell me now. Because it's so <laughs> slippery in there. I nearly yeah. fell over the other day, yeah. and I know with your knee, yeah. it's it's not. And also, don't forget to take these yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, Gary. Yo. Nobody really wants to see your, your private no. parts. But what? 
I said, no, no, nobody really wants to see your, your ding-a-ling. We don't want to see it, but... But it's, we want to be there just in case. You mean you guys all take showers in underwear? No. Well, then what's about the ding-a-ling? No, he said, no, nobody wants to see your ding-a-ling. Well, don't look! But we want to help you. You understand? But we yes. want to, yeah. Don't I look at to, the ding-a-ling, but help the ding-a-ling shower. <laughs> Funny shit. Hey, James. We should make a bumper sticker that says that. <laughs> That's good, I like that. <laughs> Big Brother has called Lauren to the daily room. Lauren, before you enter the house, the rules regarding unacceptable behaviour were explained to you. Yeah. Big Brother needs you to answer this question honestly. Yeah. Have you urinated in the pool? Did I? Have you peed in the pool? I don't... Did I do that? I'm I win. I feel win. I'm win. Oh, you're not. I am. Are you win? Yeah. That's gross. It's a bit warm, Margaret. <laughs> Are you win? As a win. When you've been around. Yeah. It's like an animal. <laughs> How old are you, Lauren? Twenty-seven. And is there anything you'd like to say to Big Brother? Sorry. <laughs> I don't think I, I think I was bantering, but I shouldn't have said that anyway because he looks very childish. Lauren, Big Brother hopes that you never again confuse Big Brother's pool with the toilet. Okay, sorry. And Lauren, you can now return to the house. Thank you. <laughs> Big Brother diary. What is it? Diary room. It's diary room. I wonder why they call it the diary room. It's real close yeah. to the diarrhea room. Please, in the pool, like, the diarrhea room. They just told me off and said, don't ever confuse the pool with the toilet. I was like, I think I was just bantering, so... Stop there. Yeah. Stop. <laughs> that is <laughs> hilarious. <laughs> well, apologies, <laughs> anyway. How many other people do you think have peed in the pool? Eleven thirty-six a.m. Jim still has Frenchie on his mind. She will flip the lid. <sighs> Definitely. On the shopping list. Oh yeah, that that will cause arguments. I want this. I want that. And we all have to just go no. Yeah. Definitely. Just to stir it. <laughs> <laughs> just see what happens. Fuck it. Let's have some fun. I won't keep coming into so much. I won't get. She was making some food. Oh, you hadn't made some food. I was making some food. I won't keep coming to you. Check it, check it, check it. Yeah, no. You're sitting down doing nothing. Check, check it, check it for me. Check it for me. Check it's, it. it's like, <laughs> it's like... Okay, you do it. In fairness, she doesn't know how to cook very much. And I think she was just making sure she didn't burn the fucking rice on everyone. She's going, I threw the pasta away. I don't want to wreck a packet of rice as well. I actually think she was being genuine about it and not trying yeah, to wreck your head. Yeah, I know doing that, Yeah. <laughs> Dee has had a realisation about Leslie. It reminds me of, you know, like Silence of the Lambs, the, the last scene where Hannibal Lecter's walking through the little village. Yeah, and yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm scared of him now. Oh, he's got a little bit of a bite to him. <laughs> a little bit. It's like a fucking Jack Russell. <laughs> yeah. Nice on the outside, piss them off, and now fucking take the hands <laughs> yeah. off you. Yeah. In the pod, Leslie is sharing a childhood memory with Kelly. So, that Christmas, Daddy took me to sit on Santa Claus' lap at the Loveman's department store with all of his army buddies. And I said to Santa Claus, he said, what do you want for Christmas? And I proudly announced a bride doll. So he went home and he said, Peggy, over my dead body. She said, well, honey, listen. Alan was his name. Alan, just don't mention it again. He'll forget about it. Well, Mother said Christmas Eve was all I could talk about. I said, Mommy, Santa Claus is going to bring me a bride doll, and I'm going to brush its hair, and I'm going to play with it. And she went to my daddy in tears, and she said, Alan, are you going to explain it to him in the morning? Because I, I won't know what to say. She said she went and she cooked, uh, began to cook the Christmas dinner, and... She heard the door quietly shut. 1958, my lieutenant colonel of a daddy. When I got your bride doll. The most beautiful bride doll. 
Mother said it was life size to a three year old and it's in a cellophane box. She said, when I came down the steps on Christmas morning and I saw it, I squatted in the floor and peed. Just peed everywhere. I was so excited, like a chihuahua. Coming up, housemates face their phobias. Oh, it smells really, really bad and they're flies. No, this is, oh, no. <laughs> oh my God. And speak their minds. Who do you think has the biggest ego in the house? I think it's um, Leslie. I think he suffers with a small man ego and um, will do anything to win the show. Whoa! One twenty one PM. For this week's shopping task, housemates will need nerves of steel as their fierce phobias head on. <laughs> oh, housemates must endure Big Brother's phobia tests. Oh, oh, no. No. What they don't know is that the whole task rests on one man, Gary Busey. Big Brother needs you to use your Hollywood acting skills to convince the other housemates that you suffer from a very unusual phobia. Globophobia, the fear of balloons. Gary, do you think you can do it? Yeah, it will be done. I love it. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Tomorrow, Gary must convince his housemates that his fake phobia is real. The first housemates to be tested are Stephanie, Edel, and Ricky. No, my name. Yes! Fierce yes! ones. Oh, Three for the team. Oh. Stephanie will be tested for osmophobia, a fear of smells, including rotten fruit, dead fish, and manky cheese. Oh, it smells really, really bad, and they're flies. Edel will be tested for omphalophobia, the fear of belly buttons. Oh. My. God. And Ricky will be tested for kinophobia, a fear of surprises. No, this is... Oh, no. <laughs> to prove that you do not suffer from a fear of belly buttons, you must endure having your face squashed into the belly button in front of you. <laughs> you are kidding. Hey, you're <laughs> If at any point during the phobia test you wish to quit... Oh my god, no, you're gonna make me go in there! You must do so by waving your white flag. <laughs> Doing so will incur a fail. Oh, no. no Hold on, no, 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 no. Phobia test activated. Oh, that ah. must be scary. Mm. Look at that big belly button, it's always perfect. Keep your head there! <coughs> oh, no! So all the way down there, he's like, what is in that box? He doesn't know what the fuck is in that box. Ah! 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 My God! Go on, good girl. I'm just crying. Oh my god. Oh, oh no! <laughs> this is ridiculous. This is not cool. This is not cool. Oh no, man. Oh, no. That's wrong. That's the big box. This is Big Brother. Ricky, you must now open the mystery box. You should do so by lifting the lid slowly and carefully. Do not disturb the contents of the box. Oh. Place the lid on the floor. It snakes are rats. Ricky, yeah. you must now lean forward and look inside the box. Are you joking me? You must continue <laughs> looking inside the box while the music plays. No way. I could do that. Go step, go step. I would do it. Oh. I'd quit. She's tough. She's. Oh my God. 
Ew. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Oh. 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 That was the most weirdest, ridiculous thing ever. Better that than his ass crack. Mm. Right. I hate you, big bro. <laughs> James, a new dance. <laughs> the phobia dance. Four twenty p.m. James is giving David a helping hand. Oh, oh shit! That's crazy, man. I'll help you a bit as well. Tell me when. That's amazing. Stephanie is talking to Kelly and Lauren about her famous ex-boyfriend. I met Spencer my first night ever in London. I had no idea who he was. Worst luck, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, and then you went on the show. Um, yeah, I moved in with him. And, because, you know, there's all the, you're my soulmate, like, all this shit. Like, he's yeah. so good at what he does. How long did that last? Uh, until he cheated on me in September. Are you friends now? Or... <clears throat> I mean, yeah, I never hang out with him outside of filming. Yeah. Ever. Frenchy is plotting. Listen, we need to be an alliance together, no matter what's happening. We need what? Be an alliance together, alliance. Alliance, yeah. No matter what's happened, so I can always protect you and you can always protect me. It's oh, called yeah. Alliance. It's already obvious, but I just want to talk about it to you. Because I didn't have an Alliance when I got here because I didn't know who was going to be here. It's important we know we can oh, count yeah, on each automatic. other. I have an Alliance with several people and it's really good to have more than one Alliance. Or, and no, and, and know, pretty soon those different Alliances come together and be one complete. One complete team. The list is together. too emotional to be related. Like what? He's too emotional. He's very emotional. Yes, he is. So oh yeah. Hell yeah. He, he is. He's not. You can be in alliance with him, but you never know. He might just switch his mind over to men. You know what I mean? Yeah. I know what you mean. Here we go. I get it. I get it. Good. Six twenty-two p.m. The phobia task continues. This is Big Brother. Here we go. Big Brother. Big Brother is ready to conduct the next phobia test. Yes. The test subjects are Frenchie, Kelly, and Dee. Oh, shit. Fuck. <laughs> my wig could fly off my boobs could flew. <laughs> if it's that bad. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, housemates. Hi. Hello, big brother. Hello, big brother. Are you ready for your phobia test? No. no. Yes. You're so French. We don't have choice. Okay. No, we don't have a choice, but... Do you think we look like Charlie's Angels? 4. This is big brother. Frenchie, Kelly and Dee. You're about to be tested for epistemophobia, the fear of knowledge. Sufferers of this phobia exhibit a fear of sharing information and talking about certain subjects. To pass this phobia test, housemates must take turns standing behind the knowledge podium to answer questions. If housemates are too afraid to answer the questions, housemates may avoid the question by pressing the panic button. Oh, damn, now we know why they brought them three in there. Friendship, oh. friendship bill, right? In a moment, Big Brother will display a question on the screen. You should read this question to yourself silently. Big Brother will then ask you if you wish to answer it. 
D, here is your question. <laughs> D, are you prepared to answer this question? Yes. Oh, good girl, good girl. D, who is your least favourite housemate to live with and why? <laughs> I think at this precise moment in time, my least favourite housemate to live with is Gary. Uh, no disrespect to the man at all, he's an absolute legend, but he's a great a pain in the butt. <laughs> um, having to repeat yourself constantly, 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 and he takes, I think he's just taking this experience a little bit too seriously for my liking. Oh, what did she say? She I said, don't like we can't hardly I think hear. I'm her least favourite house. Yeah, yeah, because you take the game very seriously. The game? What game? I'm fucked. Why not? You're being honest. It's OK. He ain't gonna talk to me, but... Frenchie, here is your question. OK. Frenchie, are you prepared to answer this question? Yes. Who do you think is being fake and why? I think Kylie is being fake because, like, sometimes she comes to talk to me and I know she took me on my back. I can just feel it and figure it out. Um, and I just think, like, you know, sometimes we talk together and we get along very well. But somehow she got me on my back and talk about me. Well, Fair that, one. that was honest. That's honest. Fair one. Yeah, she don't care. She's she she right in front of her. Yeah. Being honest, sorry. She's not a good judge of character. Look at, look at Kelly, look at her. Look, yeah. look. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Your energy and your judge of characters are really bad. <coughs> so let's talk about it after. I'm not going to be honest. That's how I felt. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you she would not, she would not like that. Like, she would not Kelly, like you'll get the upper more power. Yeah. Yeah. Do you know what? I wouldn't even waste my time talking about you. And that's the honest truth. I like you a lot, but I oh. think at the beginning you might have talked him up behind my back. So I'm just, mm. you know, replying to what I think that's you might your... have done before you get to know the true me. Because yeah. I'm a bit crazy as well, so, you know. <laughs> Kelly, here is your question. Kelly, are you prepared to answer this question? Yes. Who do you think has the biggest ego in the house and why? I, I think it's um, Leslie. Um, I think Leslie is coming here with all the intentions of winning and um, camping it up. And just, just pushing himself out there. He has, I think he suffers with a small man ego and um, will do anything to win the show. Whoa! Egotistical, short man, <laughs> bastard. <laughs> this is brilliant. D, here is your question. Ooh. D, are you prepared to answer this question? Ooh. Yeah. Oh. Oh, she's not sure. Who is the most manipulative housemate and why? Manipulative. I know exactly. I wish I got that question. Who's the most manipulative housemate? <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't question. even know how to answer that one, mm -hmm. really. I'm just trying to think. Right. There's so many. It's kind of. <laughs> <laughs> I think we all are a little bit. I think the most manipul manipulative housemate is... Am I allowed to say Gary again? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Basically, it's, he seems to come to life when he thinks there's a live eviction <laughs> or a live show. Just He's manipulating the situation fight. as and when it suits... Um, Suits his own needs, like when he thinks he's going to be up for a task and when he thinks he's going to be in till the end because someone told him he is. And <laughs> I'll go for Gary Ryan. What? I can't hear. She says she thinks you're manipulating the situation because you think you're going to be in till the end because someone told you you will be. That's a lie. <laughs> Whatever it is, it is. Frenchie, here is your question. Okay. Frenchie, are you prepared to answer this question? Yes. 
Your question is, who is the most two-faced housemate and why? I think Leslie, because beside being very manipulative, Sometimes it's very nice to me, like at the very beginning, and then look what he did to me. He threw me out of the house and tried to eliminate me. So it's totally opposite because we used to get alone at the very beginning. And he's also very emotional and he snore. I cannot sleep well. Definitely two fates. <laughs> she can't mess about, does she? <laughs> <laughs> tell, tell us what you really feel. You <laughs> tell us what you really feel. What they said about me is a lie. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I know I'm not going to win. No, I no. never said I'm going to win in the no. end. Kelly, here is your question. <laughs> what do you look at me for? Just do it, babe. Just, Kelly, just do it. I don't care when she say me. Kelly, just do it. Speak, man. We need to win. Kelly, are you prepared to answer this question? Answer the question. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Who is the most selfish housemate and why? <laughs> I actually think there's two, but I only can name one. And I would name Frenchie exactly. as the most selfish housemate because when the food started and all the eruptions started between everybody, it was to do with Frenchie not wanting to share in with the rest of us, claiming that she's a vegetarian. She was taking food and hiding food from, all the, from all the other housemates. Water was found in a bed, behind a bed. Um, food was found stored away when the rest of us were going hungry. So I had to stick with friendship. True, true, true. 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 <sighs> well, she's kind of right, actually. Yeah, she is right. Yeah. I you didn't. I didn't realise what I was. Did you take all the quilt at night, Frenchie? That's <laughs> not. <laughs> 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 Dee, Frenchie and Kelly, you have passed your phobia yes. test and proved that you do not have a fear of knowledge. We're getting closer to food, man! <laughs> Coming up, Dee and Gary clash. You can't tell me I'm wrong. You've got your ideas, I've got my ideas. No, I think no, you're taking no. This here's, way here's what I said. No, don't know me, Gary. Every time you speak and someone else goes to say something, down. you shush them Go down. down. So don't you interrupt me, Gary. And Lauren and David get a fright. Phobia test activated. Yo. Oh, no. Come on. Ah! Oh, shit. oh, no, I don't oh, like oh, it. Man. I don't like it. I don't oh, like oh. it. <laughs> Seven or three p.m. The home truths from the phobia task have rattled the house. I bet the little fella was a little bit annoyed when I came out with him, wasn't he? No. Yeah. no. But he has got the biggest ego in the house. <laughs> well, he just laughed and sat there and was like, what? It's only a game, isn't it? Let me just do this. Tea. All right. Would you like a cup of coffee? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Thank you. He's fuming, isn't he? Yeah. Hey? Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, indeed. <laughs> Oldly, oldly, oldly. Matt, he keeps staring at her. Come <laughs> <laughs> on, guys. Anytime oh. when. Oh my god, he's just following her. Dee, do you have a new pet? You want a word? That was very interesting what you said. Mm. This is one of the biggest games ever. If you start taking it too seriously... Pfft. I'm not taking nothing seriously, and I don't take it personally. Listen, I'm not serious about so... winning. I'm not serious. I'm serious. Here's what I'm serious about. Considering other people's feelings first and talk to them with an open heart and an open mind. But I, in, in certain situations, we can't do that here. Why? Because if I was to consider everybody's feelings, I would not have pushed... I would have pushed that button and refused to answer questions. I've been out of my body twice, the spiritual yeah, realm, I know the you've supernatural. Been out of your body twice, so Gary. understand this. 
I got information over there that you don't get on Earth. Well, that may be, but like I'm saying, to me, it's You can't a game, say, well, that may be. I'm telling you my truth. Well, no, I can't say. It, I it can ain't, say what a lot Well, Gary, you're wrong, you know and you're being rude. No, I'm not wrong, Gary. You're being very rude. No, I'm not when wrong, you, Gary. When you no, say, I'm not wrong, Gary. Hey, you said, no, no. that may be. Yeah. You're wrong because you haven't been there. You weren't my body. You weren't my soul. No, I haven't been there. Of course not. You're right, I haven't been there, but you can't tell me I'm wrong. You've got your ideas. I've got my ideas. No, I think no, you're no, taking no. this way Here's what I said. No, don't know me, Gary, because every time you Here's what I said you're wrong about. Can I finish? It's when you said Can maybe. I finish? No, every time you speak, yeah, I respect you as a person. Every time you speak and someone else goes to say something, Go you shush them Go down. down so don't you interrupt Go me, Go down Gary. to your emotions. Will you listen then? Oh, You're taking it too serious. Please it's a game. Sorry. What would have happened if I'd have said James's name or Kelly's name? Do you reckon they'd have been pissed off? No, because they know it's a game. You're taking privileges you don't have. Like what? Like telling me, or I was telling you about out of body. You said, oh, maybe, maybe, maybe. You're calling me a liar, or you're insulting my Did I call experience. you a liar? Between the lines. Did I, between the lines. I've sat outside hey, with you on many a occasions. Can I finish, please, please Gary? Nice. Can I finish? I am nice, talking we nice. Can't talk. I'm talking nice. I've sat outside with you on many an occasion and heard you tell me that story. And I've listened with complete fascination because it's something I'm interested in, Gary. Why wouldn't I believe you? Because you don't. Well, I'm saying to you, I do. <laughs> because why would I sit down and have the conversation with you? Oh! <laughs> Taste your coffee. Huh? Taste your coffee. We'll come back. I ain't fucking coming back. I fucking had enough. He's, he's Pass me the spoon. He's manipulating he didn't look it like he You can't fucking manipulate nothing. He's full of shit. <laughs> It 54 p.m. He's over doing me like fucking nut jobbing. People need to go over it, man. It's a game. It's been done. Move on. <laughs> fucking hell. Least favourite house, mate. Can you tell me your reasoning behind that? Yeah. Well, yeah, you're my least favourite house. <laughs> Everybody's a creature watching you, though, man. I sure don't want to be disliked by anybody mm. because I like everybody. So what's wrong with that? I don't think anyone hugely dislikes you or anything. I don't think there's any specific hates going on. Mm. But you either get someone or you don't. Welcome to life. Yeah. You spoke very well. Oh, thank you. No, you did. You have to speak how you feel. No, like what I mean by that is probably at the beginning you didn't know. Because people always talk about me, like when they first meet me, they're like, oh my God. Like, <laughs> I can honestly assure you I did not talk about you, but you can believe what you like. Yeah. <laughs> I spoke to you and I got angry with you. And, yeah, we did too. And we apologised and yeah. I've left it at that. Yeah. Not me too, but I mean, like, probably at the beginning, that's what, like, that's the way I meant it, you know, because we've been here for a uh, while. But my name is Kelly, not Kylie. You keep calling me but Kylie. With my accent is on Kylie. <laughs> yeah, I know, you keep saying Kylie. Kylie. I think it's, who's she talking about? Oh, it's me. <laughs> a lot of time I say Kylie. I know, you call me Kylie all the time. <laughs> it's on pretty, though. Hey? It's on beautiful, I think. Kylie is pretty. Kylie is very cute. Leslie has come to the diary room. Hello, Leslie. Hello. How are you? Well, I stand accused of. <laughs> Egomania, chicanery, buffoonery, being two-faced. But the cool part is that we're falling into the realization that this is a game. You can't take things too seriously. We're trying so hard, trying to include Gary and, and uh, I think Dee felt she hurt his feelings. But Gary still just gets, you know, you can't reason. He's just like a big, old, grumpy, you know, curmudgeon, burr. You know, it's his way or the highway, and you can't reason with that. You know, there's no way. And um, I don't know, little little Frenchie is, is, is um, she just who she is. She's just like a gnat, you know. She just annoys me. I try, I, you know, I... Anyway, she's really calmed down. She really has. She's really trying. She thinks she's going to win. God bless her. But they're definitely the two, I don't know. I just That's just my opinion. Um, 
they annoy me. <laughs> and I think it's a consensus. Um, I hope I'm not the Lone Ranger on that one, but I don't. I can't imagine I would be. Um, anyway. Nine fifteen p.m. Oh, come on, man! For the next part of the phobia task, Lauren and David will be tested. Ah! Fuck! I feel sorry, so sorry for you, bro. She's so lucky she hates said it. Me. He, he fucking hates spiders. Yeah. Arachnophobia. What does that mean? What does it mean? What fucking we said earlier. Oh, shut up. Yeah. Oh, God. This is Big Brother. Ah. Oh. Mm. Lauren and David, mm. you're about to be tested for arachnophobia, this the is, fear of spiders. This is disgusting. To pass this test, you must resist pushing the panic button until the test is complete. Rah, come on. If you push the panic button before the test is complete, you will incur a fail. Come on! Come on, guys. Come on, Lara. Phobia test activated. Yo, oh, no. come on. I'm very scared. Oh, shit. Oh, no, I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. I'm going to press the button because I don't like it. I really don't like it. I'm gonna press the button because I really don't really don't like it. I really got I really don't like it. Oh my god. Oh my god, can I press the button? No, 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 no. Okay. <sighs> breathe, Lauren, breathe, breathe. I'm pissed. If something touched me, I'm gonna press the button. It's fake! It's fake! It's fake! It's fake! It's fake! It's fake! Why are you touching me first? <laughs> I'm such an idiot, I wish I didn't press it yeah, now. No, no, no. <laughs> Don't worry. I'm sorry. Don't worry. Don't worry. I'll never be. I thought they were going to run around her legs and drop, and I was going to have cockroaches all over me or something. Oh, no! <laughs> she pressed it. Did she? Did she? Did she press the yeah, button? Let me press it. This is Big Brother. David and Lauren, you pushed the panic button and have failed the phobia test, I proving did. that you do indeed suffer from a fear of spiders. You have incurred one fail for the group. Sorry, it's my fault, not David's. Oh, that's all right. <laughs> Bloody hell, Lauren. Coming up, George and James tackle their phobia. If you push that button, we're out. I'm not staying there no all dinner. night. Well, I don't care, I'm staying there all night. We've got no dinner, I thought so. And Stephanie comes clean. I miss George. You see what drink does to you? It really makes your true feelings come out. I really miss him, always. <laughs> 11 or 5 p.m. Stephanie is talking to Lauren about Ricky. Well, you have like a fun little charade going on with Ricky, you know. I think he's a beautiful person. He's a very good guy. But I just haven't that fancy for him. At least you're honest. Yeah, at least she's honest. At least she's being honest and not leaving someone off. She just said that she loves you. I love you. She don't love me. As soon as these lights are out the way and you start seeing me picking my toenails and my nose. Come on, you guys, oh, you need shit. to go. Who's that mean you? We're in trouble again. Okay. We're in trouble. <laughs> I know what it's about as well. I, what I love stuff. you. I love you. Bye, Good luck. <laughs> Hello, big brother. Hello, big brother. What have I done naughty? Hello, James. Hello, George. Hiya. Big brother's called you here as you're about to be tested to see if you suffer from a very specific phobia. We've got to spend the night in here, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a phobia of getting spat at with a mouthful of celery. <laughs> <laughs> 
This is Big Brother. James and George, you're about to be tested for Morris Chorophobia. The fear of Morris dancing. <laughs> Sufferers of this phobia exhibit an irrational fear of the traditional English folk dance, Morris dancing. In order to conduct this test, Big Brother needs you to wear special Morris dancing outfits. Housemates, you begin dancing when the music starts. If the Morris dancing gets all too much for the housemates, they can always quit by pressing the panic button. Renee? Hey. Renee? <laughs> now it's four, isn't it, Ray? One, two, three, four. I miss George. Where's Jules and James? You guys, wait, serious note. Housemates, if George were to leave, I think I'd have to leave with him. I'm not even kidding. We understand. We understand. We'd, we'd, I miss him well. so much right now, it's not normal. Aww. <laughs> you see what drink does? You see what drink does to you? It really makes your true feelings come out. No, my true feelings are always on the. You know how much I love him. <laughs> I know. It's a good. It's I really miss him always. I think this is a fear of endurance. No, no, no. Dad, I get that. Twelve twenty-seven a.m. Stephanie has come to speak to Big Brother. Hi, Stephanie. Hi. So I was trying to get George down. Why are you after George? <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> not. I'm not at all. They're in a challenge, aren't they? What makes you think that? I hear it. Do you want to press the button then? <laughs> Fuck off! What's the matter with you? Do you push that button, we're out. I'm not staying down here. No dinner. Night. Well, I don't care, I'm staying here every night. We've got no dinner, full stop. <laughs> you push that, I'm being serious. <laughs> you better get your ass into gear, motherfucker. <laughs> They're going to start playing with people's heads, well and truly. It's started right now, I bet you. It has if they've took them off. Nah, big brother. Steph, what's crack? What's happening? They're not there, are they? No. He's uh, he's uh, crutching here, it's like... No, no, but like that, though. I thought it was more sister-brother. No, I don't then. know if it's like that, but I it's think definitely it is. like something. I think, I think it's more brother-sister thing. Well, I hope I'm, not. I'm, I'm, I said that. But I hope not. I, no, no, I think it I is. That's I'm winding her up. It definitely won't go any further. She really does miss it. Yes. My Georgie. He's my brother. He's my reckon? brother. Uh. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> this week, Claire, David, Gary, James, and Kelly all face the public vote. Who steers, you decide. From a landline call, 090 58 and add the number of the housemate you want to save. From a mobile call, 6 58 and add the number of the housemate you want to save. For Claire, add or two. For David, add or three. For Gary, add or seven. For James, add or nine. For Kelly, add ten. Mobile and beaded landline votes cost 50p. Other landlines may vary. Or you can vote via the new Celebrity Big Brother app. 
where two votes will cost you 99p. Voting closes in tomorrow's eviction show. Votes cast after lines close won't count. You can find terms on the Celebrity Big Brother website. Steer tuned for Bit on the Side, where Emma will be joined by Duncan James, Radio 1 Extra DJ Nick Bright, Judy James and the legend that is Keith Chegwin.